I need banana, tasty banana. Put banana in my mouth. Squeeze the peel, it comes in then. <laughs> Squeeze banana. People might say, why is he talking about him again? Because we did an interesting experiment last night. Yesterday on this very podcast, we discussed how should I release YouTube shorts. And a lot of people were like, do them in the morning. And others were like, well, do it midday between your streams. And others were like, do it overnight. So that way people have something to watch whenever they're waking up, right? So I listened to all your feedback and I actually released a YouTube short last night along with all my late night content. You know, last night I did Warzone. So it was the two Warzone videos. It was the Daily Wrap and the YouTube short. It's probably the worst performing YouTube short I've put out. Uh. But it's funny because if you look at the actual engagement, like, statistics, it's got good amount of likes. Like, it's on par with any other YouTube short I do. The likes and everything, just the views are very low. And I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's Oblivion. It's Oblivion related. I, I don't know. It's, it's confusing. And I'd like to talk with you about it this morning, see if we can figure this out. And is it because of the timing that I put it out? Because it's the first YouTube short I ever put out as a late night like that. Maybe I, maybe they're better in the morning. They do better. I don't know. We'll talk about it today. The hard shit is sitting here playing the raw games. That's the hard part. Streaming is way harder than just editing videos for YouTube. Okay? It is. Real talk. Is let's first talk about the short YouTube shorts. And then we'll talk about the Super Bowl event. Sound good? All right. So we've been talking about this for days and days. This Wednesday, two days from now, the new YouTube Shorts system goes into place. YouTube's going to start monetizing Shorts, okay? So there's going to be a big push. You're going to probably see YouTube trying to shove Shorts down your throat. I'm not even kidding, okay? Like, it's going to be crazy. You know they're going to want to make more money. So they're probably going to be like, watch this short, watch this short, watch this short. So when they do this, I want to have Shorts available and I want to be putting out good stuff for you guys. Man, I can't wait to make it big. Or hit, and hit the lotto or become an insanely popular fucking content creator where now I, you know, I make millions of dollars every week and I can fuck, I have a cr crazy contracts with fucking Twitch and everything. And now I can go on crazy vacations. I can take months off from content creation and do whatever I want. But I want to be sure that I'm delivering shorts to you in a manner that makes sense. So we've been talking over the past couple of days of what is the best delivery system for me and my shorts. And for a few days... Basically, what I was doing was uploading a new YouTube short right before I went live on stream. Then I would go live on stream. And what I noticed is the days that I did that, the shorts did pretty good. But sadly, it, I felt like it was, how can I say, not counterproductive, but almost like in competition with itself. Because if I'm going live on a live stream, obviously, I want you to check out that live stream. I don't want you to watch a new YouTube short that then auto plays another new YouTube short. And you know what I mean? And now you get stuck in the YouTube short system, much like how YouTube auto plays videos. It'll keep auto playing shorts. And I don't want someone to then, you know, get caught. Oh, I'm really enjoying Phil's YouTube shorts, but now I'm missing his live stream because I'm caught up in his shorts. You see what I'm saying? It's true. He's a dumb shit. He really is. Once those were uploaded, then I uploaded the new YouTube short of Oblivion. Okay. So what is the short? Basically, when I was playing Oblivion the other night, I went to this part of, of a town where there was a guy who was literally would not stop drinking. And it was this weird, bright, like purple pink potion. He kept drinking, drinking, drinking. He would talk to me and then we'd keep drinking when he was talking. It was like a ventriloquist. I was like ridiculous because it seemed like it was a glitch or something. But then I went to talk to the guy behind him and then he started drinking the same exact drink. I was like, what the hell is going on? This is the weirdest thing in the game so far. And then come to find out the house behind them was called the Skuma House. And for those who don't know, in the Elder Scrolls universe, Skuma is an incredibly addictive drug slash drink. It's supposed to be the equivalent of alcohol or like addictive drugs. And people get hooked on this and ruin their entire lives in Elder Scrolls. It's like monstrous drug abuse. Think about like meth. Like it's seriously supposed to be like that. Like you're a meth head. You're a crack head. You can't stop drinking skooma and it completely encompasses you and ruins you and ruins your life. So it would make sense that these guys are coming out of the house where they just got skooma. They're so addicted to it. They can't even stop themselves from drinking it for a moment to have a conversation with me. They've got to be drinking their skooma. All right. So I did this short and also, you know, there's a little funny part at the end where I actually took a sip of my drink and edited it. So it looked like I was one of the guys drinking the skooma. Okay. <laughs> so, 
the short, you know, first of all, when this happened during the playthrough, people loved it. They thought it was a really funny moment. So the short got released last night. And I didn't really check on it. And then when I was going to bed, I was curious, how's this short doing? And when I was going to sleep, so this is many hours later, I uploaded it probably around 9.30-ish, 10 p.m.-ish. So I was going to sleep around like maybe 1 o'clock. And I said, let me check on it before I go to sleep. And I checked on it, and it only had like 200 views. And I was like, whoa, wait, what? Usually when I release a YouTube short, no lie, YouTube shorts usually do really well. Like within an hour, sometimes a YouTube short can get hundreds and hundreds of views. And sometimes within a few hours, you're talking like a thousand. It depends on the short, obviously, and the subject matter. But for the most part, the YouTube shorts do quite well. Uh, and the fact that this was, you know, three, almost four hours later, and I'm checking on it, and it only had like 200 views, I was like, well, that's, that's not a lot. I can't believe Phil's still talking about views. Views, views, views. Yeah, views, views, views. Here we go. I'm going to look at it right now. As of this morning, this moment, this YouTube short has 894 views in 13 hours. Okay? Now, to give you some perspective, the last YouTube short that I released was Dead Space Remake, and that one was two days ago, and that one has 3,500 views. All right, another Dead Space remake, Initial Impressions. So this was really well, a funny short. It was me giving my initial impressions on the game after playing it launch day. Has 2,800 views. There was a Warzone clip. This was the highlight reel of essentially the laggy night in Warzone. That one has 3,800 views. <clears throat> I mean, even a video from last week where I said, hey, just chill with me tomorrow. It's my last streaming day. That's literally all the short said. That got 2,700 views. So this short... To have not even a thousand views in 13 hours, honestly, the short is underperforming. He's going like this. <laughs> okay? And again, I have to ask, is it because of the timing that I released it? Is it because I released it with other videos on the late stream? Is it because of the subject matter? Because it's, it's, it's Elder Scrolls and people don't care? Another telling factor about this. Okay? You. Yes, you. This short, the, the Oblivion short has 115 likes, okay? It has 16 comments, all right, in, in, in 13 hours, <clears throat> all right? And when I basically take a look at the other shorts that I've done, this is literally in line with the other shorts. In fact, the Dead Space, you know, short that I released a couple days ago has 131 likes. Now, wait a minute. 131 likes in over two days, while this short's only been uploaded for 13 hours and already has 115 likes. So when you're talking engagement, when you're talking the amount of content or, or uh, comments and likes, this short is on par, if not doing even better than my other YouTube shorts usually do. So I look at it and I'm like, it's got way lower views than my other shorts, yet the engagement is exactly the same. What does that mean? Your content sucks. You suck. Your family sucks. Your pets suck. You smell. I hate you. Die in a fire.